You know her as Erin from The Office and the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Now St. Louis and Ellie Kemper is at the center of a new controversy surrounding one of her hometown's oldest traditions. The actress's coronation as queen of a veiled profit ball back in 1999 has many questioning the 143-year-old secret society. Five on your side's Abby Larico has more on its history and its role in St. Louis today. Social media slamming a St. Louis sweetheart. Ellie Kemper, KKK prom queen? You get on Twitter and that's a great place to fire off a hot take, but it might not really dive into the complexity that an issue like this deserves. Historian Adam Cloppy has studied the Veiled Profit organization, which named Kemper its debutante queen in 1999. She's one of more than 130 well-to-do young women to wear the crown since 1878. Inspired by New Orleans Mardi Gras crews and a character in a poem, the Veiled Profit organization was established in response to major labor strikes that shut down the city and the threat of black and white workers uniting. In 1878, the city's elites wanted to sort of take the power of the city back. They wanted to show that they were still the people in control of the city. So they organized this parade and debutante ball. The organization brands itself a social and philanthropic group and maintains their initial goal was to plan events to draw visitors to St. Louis. Back when these sorts of things set the social calendar, the VP's debutante, Queen of Love and Beauty, reigned supreme. The VP parade, the event of the summer for some of the city. It is tied up with the history of class, elitism, money in, in St. Louis. And those issues, you can't extricate race from those issues. We just grew up in the understanding that this was not for us. The VP's had its critics since the beginning. Rapper activist Tef Poe among them today. This is a mechanism that played a role in promoting um, an oppressive, um, elitist uh, culture in the city that only a certain type of person got to be involved. With. For these critics, the tight-knit society of influential business and political leaders and their traditions of secrecy, ritual, and cultural appropriation is a force for institutionalized racism in St. Louis. It has no known ties to the KKK. Black members, though, were banned until the 1970s. The past and the future are connected. And I think that in St. Louis, we have to do a better job of wrestling with that. The VP parade's been rebranded America's birthday parade. The fair, fair St. Louis. But occasionally native St. Louisans will slip into old habits and the VP is still involved in both events. In an email statement, a spokesperson for the organization told us they're dedicated to civic progress, economic contributions and charitable causes in St. Louis. Our organization believes in and promotes inclusion, diversity and equality for this region. We absolutely reject racism. In St. Louis, Abby Larico, five on your side. Ellie Kemper has not responded to the controversy. Right now, mental.